So in this problem, we're asked to differentiate the function h of x, which is equal to the ln of x plus the square root of x squared minus 3. And so in order to do this, you need to know that the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. And you just got to know that. So what we got to do is use the chain rule. So we got to take the derivative of the outside with respect to our inside and then multiply it by the derivative of our inside. So if we go ahead and do that, we know the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. But instead of x, we're going to put our, because we're taking it with respect to our function, we got to put our function. So we're going to start off with h prime of x, which is our derivative, is equal to 1 over our inside, which is x plus square root of x squared minus 3. And then what we're going to do is multiply this by the derivative over inside. So let's go ahead and find that. So the derivative with respect to x of x plus the square root of x squared minus 3 is equal to, well, let's first start off. So the derivative of x is just 1, because we take the coefficient in front of it, because it's to the first degree. So we have 1 plus, now we got to find the derivative of x squared, or square root of x squared minus 3. So let's just pretend that instead of having x squared minus 3, we just have x. So we got to find the derivative of the square root of x. So the square root of x can be rewritten as x to the 1 half. And then if we want to find the derivative with respect to this, it's equal to um, 1 half because we move it down, then we subtract 1, so to the minus 1 half. And another way to write this is 1 over 2 rad x. And I recommend you memorize that because it's just an easier way, to, easier way to write it. But instead of x, since we're taking it with respect to our inside because we have a function on the inside, we're going to rewrite, instead of x, we're going to have x squared minus 3. So let's go ahead and rewrite that down here. So we have 1 over 2 square root of x squared minus 3. But the thing is, we're not done. We have to multiply by the derivative of our inside because this is um, we're using the chain rule. So the derivative of our inside, x squared minus 3, the derivative of minus 3 is 0. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. So we have it like this. But instead of writing like this, you can choose to just write it as uh, 2x over 2 rad x squared minus 3. This is a more simplified way to write it. And so now we have the derivative of this, we can just rewrite it back up here, and that's going to give us our answer. So we have 1 over the square root, or 1 over x plus the square root of x squared minus 3 multiplied by 1 plus 2x over 2 square root of x squared minus 3. And so now that we solved it, this is going to be the answer to this question.